Hello, my King video today. We're going to take a look at my favorite Pokemon, to be fair, from uh, this move update. We're going to take a look at the Wing Attack Charizard, especially the Shadow version in the Great League. This team that I played here got me, a, I think, 12 game win streak when I was already like pretty high ish up at that time compared to like the players I played. I definitely played against a lot of good opponents with this team and had a great time with it because we're having here the Shadow Charizard. Shadow Charizard is a very good boy. This Pokemon now generate, generate energy way way faster which just allows them to bait more often with the Dragon Claw and also will be able to get to the Blast Burn very very fast which is amazing as this move going to destroy a ton of Pokemon. We see the Victory Bell coming in here not really an issue. You can actually farm them all the way down here as well. A Jewel have been a better play in this scenario, giving the opponent less farm and giving you the Blastman already against the opponent's Bastion, which you can still reach. The difference is not really that huge, but would give them a little bit less energy on their Bastion, so I think that would have been definitely the better way to just farm on the Victory Bell. Doesn't really matter at the end of the day, I will be able to still go for another charge move here against the opponent's Bastion. This will knock them out and we will see that we have a Trevenant against the opponent's Mage Chairman. This is going to be a good game. Next opponent, Hirachi still against Noctowl. A very, very decent match up here. We've seen Ampharos coming in. I should have swapped out way earlier already. I didn't really know what to do against this Pokemon here. We're going to get the shield, which is nice, and we're going to try to catch the move onto our Trevenant going to be sadly the brutal swing bait which is going to be super effective against me and also now kind of screwing me over as another brutal swing is coming through i will be able to go for a seed bomb here now is hopefully going to knock them out but no it does not but it puts us into a position where we can farm them down with our reggie steel just lock on them down getting a ton of energy here and whatever wants to come in here they don't really like the reggie steel getting the focus blast off going to be able to get them pretty pretty low and we have to kind of catch the earthquake here on our charizard charizard going to have a great time as is earthquake going to do a ton of damage we see the knock tower coming in here and we see the blast burn going to blast them away as we will be able to now go still for one dragon claw trying to knock them out here let's see what's going to happen we're going to knock them out the stun fist is getting lower and lower now it's going to be a very interesting matchup here as we're going to have to lock on them down we're going to see the rock side coming through nice bait by the opponent but lock on going to finish off the opponent's stun fist here Again, also showcasing how strong um, Raichi Steel now is in the meta, but in general, this entire team is very, very strong in the current meta. We will see here the opponent having a Sableye fine for us. We can go ahead and go for one Zap Cannon, trying to debuff them a little bit. And we most likely should go if that hits into our um, Trevenant, but it doesn't hit, so I'm going to go into my Charizard. I'm still going to shield this move up, I think. I should be able to get some extra energy here for whatever reason, like whenever they want to go out here, it should be fine. We're going to go for the Blast Burn, getting the shield from the opponent was a CMP time. And now I can, I know that I can go for five more fast moves. One, two, three, four, and five, and they swap perfectly into the Ninetales. Very good move by the opponent. Still going to knock out the Ninetales though, as they're getting lower and they didn't expect that I would still get to a Dragon Claw, they over farmed too much, and we knocked them out as well, and that's not all, we see the Digger Speed coming in, they will not be able to farm us down in time either, and this Blast Burn going to completely destroy them here, as we see the... Um, Reggie's still coming in. We will see that this earthquake is going to knock them us out, and we see the opponents, uh, the Trevenant coming in now. And DSB has no chance against this Trevenant. We will see um, now that we can go into the next game here. We will see the Reggie still against the Noctowl. Very decent lead there for us, especially like this team here is kind of designed to counter the current meta. We're going to have the Trevenant, which is the best answer for Lantern, and we're going to have the Reggie Steel, which is going to be a very decent matchup for the um yeah for the um Noctowl there and we're going to have a good save swap there for with the Swampert which uh, with the um Charizard here which will be able to hopefully bait out the potential of Noctowl because they don't want to face it with the lead we will be able to go for one seed bomb as uh, this next seed bomb is not going to be getting reached here but it's fine we still have our Reggie Steel we're not going to share the first one here but it's going to be a little bit of a tricky matchup still Noctowl is very very strong in the current meta Shadow Ball is still going to hurt a lot and we have to rely on on whatever they have in the back going to be weak against my Charizard here. We already have basically the best answer for Charizard out of the way with the opponent's 
um, Lantern. We can take still one move because they're debuffed. But sadly, they're going to swap out in time into their Stunfisk. And there is not a lot that I can do here anymore. I can try and go ahead and shield up their rock slides, but there's not really a lot that I can do with my chairs out here. I'm gonna go ahead and go for the bait first. Hopefully they shield and they actually do shield, which allows me now to get some extra energy. They're going to go ahead and go for the rock slide. I'm going to over farm a little bit and we can go for the blast burn, blast burning them away. Going to be able to knock out the stun fisk immediately. And that's not all. We can still reach another one for the opponents. Um, Noctowl and you see how strong Charizard just is. This thing just sweeps with shields. You have like no chance as the opponent there against my boy. We see another dude that doing exactly the same with the team. I don't know who thought that um, Lantern right now is a good say swap, but for this team it's definitely a good say swap to face. We will be able to go ahead and go for another seat bump here. The seat bump should hopefully do enough damage to do like to knock them out, but they're actually going to, I think they're going to wait a little bit. So I'm going to undercharge. I think they just want to get the energy with their um, Noctowl, which I'm okay with actually. I'm going to go ahead and go for a seat bump as we can, tr like I thought of swapping out here, but I don't really want to align myself into a matchup I don't want to be in. Um, like we will see that the Noctowl is going to go ahead and go for the Shadow Ball and I can go for one Focus Blast here, most likely to already knock them out. I really just want to have a shield advantage, to be fair. I don't really care too much if it knocks them out or not. I still have my cherries out. We're going to knock them out, though, and we see the melee champ coming in, which is going to get so hard hitted by those um, wing attacks. You see how much damage the wing attack does already. We will be able to go for Dragon Claw here just only. We don't need anything else than Dragon Claw. Dragon Claw will be enough to put them into range to knock them, knocking them out. We have Nini already two already. You can go for one more fast move. And this next one will knock out the opponent. It's insane how strong this Pokemon is Cherries are honestly one of my favorite Pokemon to use there. Definitely something I would recommend you to try out. We see a Noctowl from the opponent coming in. Here again, Noctowl, one of the most common leads. We can just go straight Zap Cannon, but the opponent catches it with the Lantern, that's fine for me. What I can do here actually, which I didn't do really prior, I can stay in. I can stay in, take the move, it's fine, it's totally okay. I don't really mind it too much. Um, we will be able to just get a ton of energy and now we can swap out and we can catch the incoming Surf. Surf does no damage really and we can just try to farm them all the way down as low as possible as we can now go for a charge move which I think I shouldn't have done. I should have given them the um, Thunderbolt coming in because I would have been able to go for more moves here. Now they can just easily farm me down and there's not a lot that really happens here. Seed Bomb is doing some damage but of course the Noctowl resists every of my move. We will be able to do some more damage here. And we see the Reggie still coming in now. We can go for one um, Zap Cannon. I can take this move, Shadow Ball coming through. We can either knock them out or they're going to have to shield the next move up. Going to be a shield coming up. They're going to get the debuff. I'm going to let this move go as well, I think. And I do. I will be able to go ahead and go into my Charizard now. And this um, will be a pretty decent matchup for me. I can shield up the next charge move. Going to be a Sky Attack. As we see the opponent's Medicham coming in. They don't want to get hit by a Blast Burn. They really don't want to get hit by a Blast Burn. But they will get hit by a Blast Burn. I would be able to survive this move though. And I think I should have no shield this one. Um, and this might cost me the game here. But I still have two Dragon Claws stored already. You generate energy just way too fast. Like honestly this Pokemon is way too strong. I will be able to go for another Dragon Claw here. This will be able to knock out the opponent's Noctowl. And this will be a good game. Next opponent. Registeel against us. Against uh, Registeel again. Noctowl in the lead. Noctowl being everywhere in the lead. We see a Melmetal coming in. Which is a little bit of a weird one. I thought it was a Registeel. So I went straight into my... Um, and to my Trevenant, which can hard wall this Pokemon. We still wall this Pokemon though as well. Like we can just go for one Shadow Ball where we will be able to knock them out. Um, and we will be able to go for some Seed Bombs as well. Seed Bomb going to do some nice damage. And this will do enough to get them at least into like range for later on. Maybe the Cherry Zard, some Wing Attacks and some Dragon Claws maybe would be enough, but we can go straight into a Righty Steel. Try to force some shields, try to get rid of the energy that they gained just before. They're going to get to another Shadow Ball in time, but I'm not too worried because also my Cherry Zard has a pretty decent matchup against that Pokemon, but we see the Machem coming in. I'm going to go straight for my Dragon Claw. They kind of have to shield it. They are kind of forced to shield it and they're actually going to go ahead and shield it. And what I'm going to do here is all, well, I'm going to shield of course, but 
what I'm going to do next is I'm going to no shield the incoming cross job. I know I still survive it. I know I still get to move against the opponent's um, Noctowl. I know this is going to be a blast burn. And I know that this Noctowl is going to go down. Very nice from Charizard again, not going to bait there, just going to go straight for the nuke. Next thing there, we're going to see the um, Nidoqueen coming in. Um, we will be able to go ahead and throw, like, we're going to shield still the move coming in there because we're so squishy. Of course, they don't need a little bit longer to get to their charge moves. We get the bait done here and we can go for another blast burn. So we either get a shield advantage or a switch advantage. We get the shield advantage, which I'm fine with, as we can go ahead and go into our Trevenant now. We know how much energy they need and we know when we have to throw, which is amazing. As the Poison Fang is coming through, we will be able to go for one Seed Bomb. Seed Bomb going to do some nice damage. And this damage will be enough to knock out the opponent's Pokemon there. As we see, sadly, our first loss most likely here because we kind of got Hard World, I think. We will see the Magicham coming in, which has a Power Punch now as well, which is not ideal. And we have to go for one more Zap Cannon. The Zap Cannon will not get the debuff either, which is kind of unlucky because otherwise we would have got to the move here, which would have changed a lot more, I guess. But I don't think it really would have helped me either. Did it? I definitely would have changed a little bit, I think. But um, doesn't really help me too much either now. I wonder if it actually would have changed something if I got the debuff there, which is 66%, but we will never find out. Maybe it would have done enough then, but... We don't know. Next opponent, Noctowl in the lead again, fine for us. We will be able to go ahead and go for Zapkin again. Zapkin going to do some nice damage, gonna get the debuff, going to force a shield or let them swap out. We'll see what's going to happen here. They're going to stay in, they're going to have to take this charge move coming in, going to get shielded and of course we're gonna get the debuff here finally. As we can see a lantern coming in, we have a ton of energy stored and we see it's going to be the water gun version. Water gun can be a little bit scary because you just get damage like quick uh, there but they also don't get to the charge moves as fast so i'm going to let this move go through going to be a thunderbolt we are basically as low as the opponent um we can go ahead and go for one seed bomb they're going to let this move go through they can realign and they are knocked out against me but i have a move stored already so it doesn't really help them too much either like on my register of course i will be able to either get the opponent down now or i will be able to get the final shield by them i can go straight for the zap cannon they actually don't even throw here and the zap cannon going to knock them out nearly they're going to get the attack drop there i will be able to go for my charizard um shield coming up here now and sky attack is going to do a nice amount of damage there would have done not a nice amount of damage there but my opponent tried to catch a dragon claw on a Steel and Grass type, which doesn't work out for them. Speaking of Steel and Grass type, we see it again here. <laughs> As we see a safe swap of Drapion, which is something I don't want to face with my backline. I will be able to go ahead and take this Crunchy as Saturday. They get the debuff immediately. I don't get my debuffs, even though I have a very high amount of chance there for the other one. But like, at least we got the debuff here with the attack drop from the Zap Cannon. We see the Awkward Tail still going to do some nice damage against the Dragon. Uh, the Dragon, I want to say, but it's going to be the Charizard here going to go straight for the blast burn would either get the shield or knock them straight out and we're going to knock them straight out in comes now from the opponent the Marowak and I actually going to be able to go for one uh, Dragon Claw and I should be able to reach another one as well. I gotta get the shield. I thought I might get into the um, Blast Burn but Dragon Claw is only what I gotta get there but you're going to see how much damage it's going to do. I still have my Trevenant. I can still just shield up the move here and we see the Ferrothorn coming back in which doesn't want to really face my Raichi still here either. As we will be able to go for the um, Focus Blast, trying to knock out the opponent's Ferrothorn. We have pretty healthy, like a lot of health still left, and we will be able to go ahead and just try to farm down. What they're going to do here is they're going to go for the Undercharged Thunder, so they get more LNG later on. But it was not enough. We can go for one Zap Cannon, this will knock out the opponent's Marowak, and we can go into the final match. You see already how much I like this one. I just put in the medals that I just grabbed from my fold. I did like 50 battles or something with this team nearly. It was amazing. I just, it's just my favorite team. Like this was just such my favorite team. I, I, I 
I couldn't imagine a better team here, honestly, because Charizard was so much fun. We see the Dragon Claw now stacking up there. We have two Dragon Claws, two and a half Dragon Claws basically stored already. We're going to get the extra fast move through as well, which is nice. Rock Side going to be able to get shielded. And now you see I have two Blast Burns stored. They don't have a move yet, but they have the move now. And they're going to have to take two Blast Burns here, which they can't because they already got the shield gun before we see the Mage Champ coming in. They're going to go for the charge move here, going to be the Ice Punch, I think. Doesn't do enough damage, definitely doesn't do enough damage because this mage I'm gonna get burned as well. Trezard is just going through everything. I think that the shadow version is pretty important though. We're just gonna go into the Reggie seal just to flex on them with my catch here and that's going to be it for the video. Thanks for watching because my opponent had already enough. Leave a like please and see you next one. Bye.